Because you looked in, you looked in my other Bible. It's in that big, that book Zeph got. Right, right. Yeah, it ain't in there. But the the, the definition of woolly hands have Negroes. You understand that? Are you a Negro? No. So the, by definition, your hair don't fit that. Yeah, I mean, hey, we understand that a lot of people want to be like us. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want the problems that come with being black. They want to be black, but they don't want to deal with racism like you deal with racism. They don't want to deal with police brutality like you deal with police brutality. They don't want to deal with the things that make us a people. But they want to be like us. Bring it out. They'll, they'll go get collagen shots in their lips and in their butt so they can look black. But as soon as you say, hey, Negro, you got to, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to do this for master this and that. They don't want that problem. What you got? Read Daniel's 9-11. The book of Daniel's chapter 9 and verse 11. Say, come, let me ask you this. Come close. Because he said, you come close too. Because you say he want to be black. Do you want this right here? He made a bold statement. I want to see white like man. Right. Because that's the only person that I know how to do. Right. We can't change those things. You know what I'm saying? God created you the way he created you. He did that for a reason. He created us the way he created us. He did that for a reason. You know what I'm saying? God has his reasons for doing things. Right. You who you are because God wanted you to be that. I'm who I am. My four, my four mothers and forefathers went through this because God made us. We, we made a blood oath with God that we would keep his commandments. And by us not doing it, this will happen to us. And he sent your forefathers to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Is that biblical facts? Huh? Give, give me that in Deuteronomy 20, 28 and 68. We're going to show you as biblical facts what I said. That God sent your forefathers to do this to us for us being disobedient. He think he what? What did he say? Like he said he, he think he can't, he can't, go, can't to go to heaven. Yeah, we said we saying. Uh, but what you have what you have to understand is America and the way the world is today is the white man's heaven. Right. You're in heaven right now, but you in a servitude state. When our kingdom come, he gonna be there, but he gonna be in chains like we were. Right. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. And we're not saying he can't go. It's just the way that he going ain't the way Negroes want to see the white man go. It's the way God want him to go. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God said he was going to bring the Negroes and Mexicans into slavery. Egypt means slavery. And he said he was going to do it by how? By, with ships. We came over here on cargo slave ships. That's right. God said because y'all right. disobedient, you're going to go into slavery on slave ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And he said, the same way I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You're not going to see your heritage, your homeland, no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For and God said, when we get to the America, we what? Shall be sold unto your enemy. You see that? He said, we're going to be what? Sold unto your enemy. Sold to who? Unto your enemy. So who is, who is buying and selling us, my brother? Exactly. What did God call him? They did that. Did God say he was our friend? No. God said, you're going to be sold to your enemies. Who was buying and selling us? Who came into Jerusalem and, and conquered us? Who, who surrounded Jerusalem, our homeland, and starved us out to the point where we had to start eating our children? Right. This is warfare. Now we in we in a place that they brought us, and the same people that tortured and killed us, we ride around with them in the truck. Damn. The same people that killed us, we we as we more nice to them than we are to our own people. Right. Read. Dead. Hey, that you know you know what I'm saying. The Lord tell us to be at peace with all men. You don't have to get an attitude right now. God passed the judgment. 
What you have to do is you have to come back to your nationality and learn how to keep God's commandments so salvation can be for you. You don't have to have anger towards that man. God said be at peace with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? If he's doing work with you, pay that man honestly. You know what I'm saying? Do do deal with him according to how he deals with you. See, and if right. he deals with you in right. an improper manner, you need to distance yourself from him. See, Don't get mad and, and want to do harm to him. That's not what God is waking us up for. Right. He's waking us up because he's finishing destruction on the earth. That's right. And he's trying to get his children in line because salvation, it is, it is for us. The kingdom to come, it is for us. That's right. And all these other nations are going to serve us just like we serve them in this kingdom. Right. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And God said, when we got off them ships, we will be sold to our enemies for slave men and slave women. That's because we messed up. We messed up. You understand? So if we messed up, we the ones got to correct ourselves. We the ones got to correct our communities. We got to correct our children. We got to correct our wives. We the sons of God. That's right. Huh? Yeah, it is. But you, what you have to do is one soul at a time. Work on yourself. And the ones who see you, like God said, we should let our light shine before men. That they may see your good works. Because if one person sees you turn to the commandments and you walk in that, and you and you walk in diligently and they see the, the good things that the most I brought to your life, then it will provoke them to want to change. Because they see your example. They see your love and your care for your people. And they'll follow that example. Everybody right. not going to go to heaven. Right. Some people got to be the ones who die in the fire. That's Bring it right. up. Somebody got to do that because it's written in the Bible. Hey. Everybody's not going to change. Proverbs. Give me Isaac. What, what you got? Proverbs 16 and Yeah, read that. I'm not, I'm not a leader. We all are uh, humble servants to the Lord. That's what we are. We here to teach our people who you are. We all are learned men. I'm just the one with the microphone. Right. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. You see that? He made all things for himself. Read. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. You see that? He even made the wicked man for the day of his judgment. Because if everybody was righteous, how can God show his power? Somebody got to be the adversary of God for him to show how powerful he are. Bring it out! So he made enemies. He made nations. And he gave them all kind of techno technological power. Because they got nuclear bombs. They got Scud missiles. They got mother of all bombs. They got these things. But guess what? It's gonna be, they're not just sitting there for nothing. They're not just sitting in those missile asylums for nothing. God put it on them to create those things. So when Jesus Christ, the Lord of war, show up, he got somebody to destroy. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse four. Because our salvation out of Egypt it wouldn't have been a great salvation that we would talk about still today if the Egyptians wasn't powerful. If the Egyptians wasn't powerful, we wouldn't know how powerful God is. Because we could have just walked out of there. But because Egypt was a powerful nation and they ran the whole world, God rose them up to be that. Matter of fact, go to, go to uh, uh, Romans 9 and read verse 14. I'm going to show you. We fellowship, we got, you got a, you get a flyer? Look on the back of that flyer. It's an address at the bottom, and it's a, it's a website on the bottom. And, and, and to your buddy in the truck, everybody gonna have to bow down and keep God's commandments, so when that brother learn, you better start copying. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 14. Uh -huh. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is there unrighteousness unrighteousness with God? Hey, what's your name, brother? <coughs> Butch? Yeah. Jones? What's your name? Huh? Hurst? Hurst and Jones. Listen to this right here. This this Bible. This is New Testament. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is God unrighteous? 
No. Right. So we can't look and say God got flaws and he unrighteous. Teach. Read. Yes. God forbid. No. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. God said, I made everything, I created everything, and I'm going to have mercy on whoever the hell I want to have mercy on. Read. And I will have compassion on who I will have compassion. Read. So then it is not of him that what that will willeth, nor of him that runneth. So it ain't of him that will it. Because let me ask you something. What is what's your name? Jones? No, no, no. Hurst. Hurst. Oh, uh, is the people in Israel the real Israelites? Are the people saying they Jewish? Or are they the real Jews? They not. They imposters. When we went into slavery in, in 1948, that's when the um, what what I'm looking for? The um, the, the in 1948, the state of Israel was established. Balfour Declaration. Balfour Declaration. The Balfour Declaration and making Israel a state was established. All of those people that's in that land right now, they converts from Russia. Right. Kazarians. Right. They are not Jews. They say they Jewish. That let you know that they know they're not the real Jews. Right. Ish means similar to, pertaining to. It doesn't mean you the real deal. Like if I say that shirt he got on is blackish, is it black? It's almost black. Just like Jewish is not a Jew. They just trying to keep our laws and convince the world that they us, but God been spilled the beans on them. Huh? We know we the real Jews. Bring it out. And they are lying about who they are. That's right. Read. But of God that showeth mercy. Uh-huh. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh. Listen what the scriptures told Pharaoh. Listen to what God told Pharaoh. Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. God said to the Egyptians, for the same person, the same, for the same reason I made y'all a powerful nation. That I may show, that I may show my power in thee. That I'm going to show my power when I destroy y'all and take my kids up out of there. Right. That's what God said. And he said the same thing is going to happen to America. The same thing. Because he, he equates the white man with the with the Egyptians at, that, that did that to our forefather. He said the white man is in the same seat as the Egyptians was. They the most powerful nation on the earth. This is Babylon the Great according to the Bible. Right. 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 I, I understand that. Give me that in Isaiah uh, 1511. Is that what I want? Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1511? Yeah. Give me Jeremiah 1511. Hey, let me ask you something. Like when Big Mama Nim was in the wheelchair, did they did they say why it gotta be me to go in the cotton field? Why it gotta be me to get on the slave ship? Why the white man gotta come and kill my kids? It it was it wasn't nothing we can do. He might be a decent man, but he fits Bible prophecy of being the nation that God is against. Bring it out. It ain't nothing we can do about that. Just like we had old people that was in canes, they caught hell just like we did. Even though they was good people, they caught hell just like we did. There ain't nothing we can do about that. God has a chosen, and he has a chosen person, that chosen nation of people that he gonna come against. We, we, we can all day long feel sorrow and sympathy, but the Bible says what it says. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna sit up like they do in church and make you feel comfortable with it. Right. Huh? No, it ain't gonna work. You you can you can dye yourself black if that's you, if you, you gotta get melanin shots and, and stuff like that. But I don't even think that'll be healthy for you. You can say you can lay in the sun and try to get the sun tan, but you're gonna get skin cancer because you are the people that God is against. Right. Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter fifteen and verse eleven. The Lord said, "Verily it shall be." Listen to this. Listen to it. Hey, listen to it. Listen to it. The Lord said, Verily, it shall be well with thy remnant. Uh -huh. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. See what God said? Read it again. The Lord said, 
Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Uh -huh. Ver verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. See that? God said he'll cause these nations, because it's not just him, the Chinese man hate us too. Right. It ain't right. just right. them, the Arab man hate us too. Right. Everybody hate us and call us niggas. Right. Everybody. Because we God's chosen people. Now, he may not know why they got their spirit on them. He may not know that. Because he's not learned in biblical knowledge. But if you go to the leaders of his people, they know exactly who we are. Some of us have not been educated. That goes for black people, white people, Arab people. Some of us not educated. But once you become educated and you know your nationality according to the Bible, then you start to open your eyes. You know your, that your people oppress my people. That's a fact. Since 1492, y'all been oppressing us. Y'all came and took the land from the Indians, the Mexicans, with slaughter, smallpox. Y'all did all of those things, took the land from them. And now y'all put a wall up and tell them they can't even come over here. Your people do that. But God is using your people to punish us. He's using y'all to punish us. Right. It's not, I, your forefathers, what you don't know, your forefathers is you. Right. You right. just don't remember. But it's here in the Bible. That's why God said, you have to pay. Give me that. Give me Isaiah 14. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Listen to this. Listen to this. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. You see that? God said, prepare slaughter for you for what your forefathers did. Because you are your forefather. You come back on the earth in your third and fourth generation. You them people, you just don't have any remembrance of that. Give me Ecclesiastes. This, uh, this, that's Isaiah 14, 21. Read it again. Read it. Hold on. Isaiah 14, 21. Yeah. See, we don't, we don't know who we are like that. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the faces of the world with their cities. You see that? You see that? Because of the sins of your forefathers, you have to pay. Because right now, you could be living in a, 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 a high level of society. If you chose to. Because this, this kingdom was built for you. Your whiteness can get you whatever you want in America. If you decided today that you wanted to go and just be white, you can get everything that we can't get. Everything. But you don't want to use that. You'd rather struggle with us. Now, I don't know what that's going to get you, because this your kingdom. If I was you, I'd be going for everything I got. Because when Christ show up, that's going, that's, that's an end, it's an end to that. You should be trying to live it up. Read. Yeah, so uh, give me one, uh, one, and, uh, one and nine. One and nine. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one and verse nine. Uh -huh. The thing that hath been, uh -huh. it is that which shall be. Are you listening? Listen to what God said. Ecclesiastes, chapter one and verse nine. The thing that hath been, is it, it, it is that which shall be. God said the thing that hath been, is that which shall be. Read. And that which is done, it is that. Hey, 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 you, you ain't listening. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all ain't listening. Read. And, and, okay, that, the thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, is that which shall be done. 
And there is no new thing under the sun. See, you hear what God's saying? He said, the thing that has been is that which shall be. Right? Read it, read it again. The thing that has been it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. Uh -huh. And there is no new thing under the sun. Right. So God said, ain't nothing new under the sun. Right? Read. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. So if I look at you, can I say you new? No. God said, ain't nothing new under the sun. You've been here before. Read. It has been already of old time. You say it had been already of old time. Give me that Ecclesiastes 5 and 10 to see what the thing he was talking about that been here of old time. 6 and 10. 6 and 10. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 and verse 10. That which has, that which has been is named already. He said the thing that I say is going to come back is already named. What is it? And it is known that it is man. What? And it is known that it is man. So men, just like every cycle on the earth, come back on the earth. That's right. That's why when you see some people, they born handicapped, they pay for the sins of their old life. You understand? That's how God works. We haven't been taught that. You might see, remember the guy that was born blind and the disciples asked Christ, why was he born blind? Did he sin or did his parents sin? But why would they be asking about somebody born blind did he sin if he was born like that? Because they knew his past life, he probably was a nigga. Right. You understand? That's God. That's what they don't teach us in there, in those institutions, or in those pipeline to prison institutions. Prison to pipeline, what is it? Prison to pipeline. Prison, school to, pipe school to pipeline, church to prison, church to school, school to prison pipeline. They don't teach us that. They teach us in church to be submissive to white people. You understand? So that's that. If you got any other questions, we you got the flyer. You understand? You no, know, give me that. Give me that. Uh, before we end, give me uh Hebrews. Uh, give me that Hebrews. What's that? Uh, two and one. Yeah, Sixteen. What is Twelve that? and sixteen. Hebrews twelve and sixteen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hebrews 12, 16. Watch this. Listen to this, brother. I'm sorry. Give me Romans 12 and 16. They Romans 12. 12. Huh? They no, 16. 12. So, brother, yeah, 16. On, on this sign right here, do you see your nationality? According to your father. What is your father? 12 and 18. You Judah. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Your your purpose on this on this planet is to keep God's commandments. That's your purpose. That's why God put you here. And your purpose is to teach your people, raise your nation back up. That's your purpose. That's your whole reason for being here. What you're doing right now is your job. Your profession is you a prophet of God sent to teach his people. You understand? So you have to come back to keeping God's commandments. You understand? James? Jones. John, read. The Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it be possible. He said, if it be possible. As much as lieth in you. With everything that lies in you. Jones. Live peace, peaceful, peacefully with all men. He said, live peacefully with all men. So your employee that you got working for you, don't start being a uh, lion over him. Live peaceably with the man. You know what I'm saying? If he do work, pay the man just wages. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.